Hey, this is Jotham. Uh, welcome back. This is week five of my development of Chico and Grande, my game for my games proposal module for games design. Um, so this video is a little bit late. Uh, I was I had to have a test for coronavirus, and so I wasn't able to uh, go into class. Um, and so because of this, I didn't upload a video over the previous week. But it's good. I've done a lot. I can show you what I've been doing. Um, I've been doing quite a fair bit, and so I'm excited to yeah, demonstrate what's going on. Um, and not to worry, I, I tested negative, so it's all okay. So, here we are, Chicken Grande. Um, the first thing to notice is I've updated the UI. You can see we have some nachos and chili peppers slowly filling up. The nachos are the hearts, and the chili peppers is the um, ability cooldown. I also moved the tutorials to the top part of the screen. I think it's better there with everything else. You also might notice that I changed the colour of the enemies. Um, I think when they were looking white, it was just a little too friendly. I wanted to give them something a bit more dangerous looking. So you can see the nachos are eaten away when I lose health and they're getting back when I gain it. This is just the final part of the tutorial. There we are. And actually I've changed um, Grande Super Slam. I encountered a problem where it would sort of go right across the room, right across the, the face of the map, uh, just because of some collisions I've been doing. But I fixed that. That all works now. That's fine. So, she, sorry, Grande's ground pound is Super Smash. Um, works now. It works officially. It really, it's really quite good, actually. So I might have shown you this last week. We had the um, small little cutscene, and we're going into the proper level. I also changed a little bit of the colours of Chica and Grande, just to make them stick out a bit more. Um, I'm only one person playing, so obviously a little bit harder for a two-player game, so that's why I'm sort of trying to hide <laughs> uh, Chico there behind the screen. You'll notice the colour grading is different. I um, changed the colours. I wanted to have a bit more of a, um, a professional look and feel, as well as something that could really give the, the vibes in Mexico. Um, so I think I've achieved that. Uh, and you'll notice as well that the map has lots of boxes around the outside. These sort of like blocky buildings. Um, Supposed to represent yeah, the, the, the buildings of Esperanza, the town. So the level, the core of the level remains the same, but I have made some major updates to the boss battle and the chase scene. Now I don't remember how much I showed last week, but uh, I've actually got both of them to work quite well. It's still not perfect, there's still some tweaking to be done, but I'm actually quite happy with how they've turned out. As requested by my tutors, uh, I changed some of the walls to be transparent. Um, I did this because it was a little bit hard for the player to recognize which walls you couldn't jump over. Uh, and so I did that, yeah, just to give the player a bit more leeway. Okay, let's try and open this door. Yes, here we go. Now this part is kind of really difficult to do. Um, we're going to be doing the chase scene. <laughs> it's very difficult with just one person. I'll give it a go. Uh, and if I can't get it the first time around, then we'll just have to uh, try again. Just skip ahead, I think. Ah, oh, they're going to catch me. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> so you can see here the 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 Texan trucker does chases all the way. Um, 
There we go, I did it. Wow. Uh, and then he just sort of disappears. <laughs> so some things I need to figure out and to fix, but oh well. Yeah, that all works. Uh, if I if I was caught by the taxi trucker, I would teleport back. Uh, that would be no problem. Um, I've also fixed the, the problem with this pressure plate. The problem was that if we had one person on, and then I'd bring the box on, uh, or even someone else, you know, the moment one person left, it would turn off. But I fixed it so that now it all works, it all makes sense. Um, and so this means that the, yeah, the pressure plate system, it stays down, basically, you know, when someone's on it. Um, I just had to fix that using some integers. Um, so yeah, that all makes sense now. I did make some small changes as well to this part of the level. Um, I felt like the screen was blocked and obstructed somewhat by uh, this area, and so I moved stuff over to the side, added the final jump. I made it a little bit easier as well. I think it was too difficult to make this first jump here. And then the second jump as well. I decided to give the player just a bit more leeway in, in trying to fix that. And I also got rid of the enemy on top. I think it was a little bit unfair after doing all so much running, just to panic and then, yeah, it's a go downhill. Okay, here we go. So there is still a bit of an issue regarding depth perception, um, and especially for Chico. Um, so I, I'm really am trying to see if there is a way to have some kind of, I don't know what you call it, but something that stays at the bottom of Chico that you know it's almost like a shadow but can be seen from anywhere. Um, so we'll just have to see if I can update that soon. Okay, so we're heading to the final boss battle. Really exciting stuff. Um, Yep, and he'll be facing the Texan Trucker. So a quick introduction there, and then here he is, the Texan Trucker. Pah! You thought you could escape? You would never escape Esperanza, get them! And here comes all the Vagabonds. So let's uh, quickly beat them up. I'll just use Grande to smack them down, and here he is. Pah! Guess I'll deal with you myself. And you can see the top, uh, the health bar, or the speed health screen for the Texan Trucker. Here he is. Uh, Let's attack him and here we go, let's start it. There we go, defeated him once. Ouchie, that hurts. Shooters, get them back. Alright then, let's quickly deal with these shooters then. Maybe we just show off the uh, ground pound then as well. Ouchie, ouchie, now you made me mad. Grr, everyone attack with me. And so everyone will attack and we've got to defeat them all at the same time. In his last health, and there we are, defeated him. Ouchie, 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 you've beaten me. And so we have a final uh, could see. They made their escape to the wilderness. They thought they would be safe, they were wrong. And a cheeky teaser, chapter two, to be continued. So that's the brunt of the changes I've made. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching, and yeah, see you next time. Take care.